I had a hard landing, one feet went off from the strap. It's windy. The sun is shining. We just passed 1,000 subscribers. Thank you very much, guys. It means a lot to me. I'm at the moment in Normandy. I supposed to be in Croatia, but unfortunately my girlfriend broke her knee. So here's the best place to be. Yo. Yes, she's sky surfing, but she injured the knee while kicking the ball for some to run. Here in Normandy, I'm working a lot on my new tutorials, which they supposed to come out from December. The spot is quite far away from my place. It's like three hours away. We are going on the spot called Lotuke. Je pense uh, je le dis bien. Je vais voir là mon ami Giovanni. Giovanni me dit uh, de ce spot, uh, c'est du dingue. Qu'on est low tide, supposed to be flat, butter flat. And uh, when it's high tide, it's supposed to be choppy, not the best. The forecast is showing from 15 to 20 knots. It's perfectly enough to have a proper fun. Last time I have been kiting, this was three weeks ago, and this was in Egypt. During the kite safari, I had an amazing session, but during this session, I injured. I went uh, doing boogie loops and light wind. I had a hard landing, one feet went off from the strap. Like all my right leg twisted quite badly. It was painful instantly. I was sure that I injured quite badly but luckily not so bad. Uh, now it passed two weeks, I was exercising and I feel now much better, much, much better. Guys, I just arrived on the spot. Looks beautiful. The rain just stopped and by fork I should get super sun in two, three hours. Luckily, luckily, I missed the road. Whoa, it's a huge beach. Wait, wait, wait. Here we are! It's windy. It's supposed to be sunny really soon. But I have to pee so badly. Eh? I have to find the spot where to pee. So now it's around 15 knots, but uh, it's supposed to get stronger. Whew, I managed to find a place to pee with a beautiful view over on the spot. I'm not sure where's the lagoon. It's supposed to be one area super flat. Ah, now I see it. Ah, it's there. I go to quickly get ready. There is a small lagoon which should be there for the next two hours so we don't have much time of having fun in the flat water. So let's get ready. I am ready. This is number one bullshit. It's sunny now. It is really warm. I'm sweating like a pig. The shoes, the shoes I will need because of the water because it's cold. And look at this. These are the best gloves I ever saw. What is freezing the fingers, it's the wind. So it's perfect. Here is open, so you have a perfect grip. But here is protecting from the wind, so it's perfect. I love these gloves. Pingu style. Again, there is no one around. I have to do self-launching. Here's a lot of space. If you don't know how to self launch I did this tutorial for you, it's uh, right here. Check it out, now I'm gonna do it just quickly. Poof! Easy! So yeah, the water is cold. The sun is shining! The weather is sweet. Look at this! Beautiful crystal brown water! Oh. I found the lagoon! <laughs> Look at this flat, guys! Okay, let's get up the camera here and show time. Jenna. Change of the spot. The water is becoming higher and higher. Nice wind it's around 70 knots. I'm riding here with one third board. It is the board for my girlfriend. I sold my board, so I'm waiting for my board 136, but still feels good. I'm 80 kilo and 133, I think it's actually a quite good board for my weight as well. 
easier cutting upwind. Feels good. Now I'm going for the trick I never tried before. I'm not sure that I saw someone doing it. Uh, it's difficult to explain what I want to do, so watch and laugh. That's the best I could do. The idea it was that I pop, slide with the board on the water, and when I do the loop, that the guy takes me up in the air, and then that I put the board on the pit. But this is not going as I thought. Let's get fun. <laughs> the battery went low the wind picked it up I was now overpowered with the 12 I had to go out it became super choppy I'm gonna pump up my 9 meter time and I'm going back on the water yeah gloves and shoes not needed anymore it's quite warm super warm look at this what a beautiful day so as the wind it's not super strong I decided to take my surfboard which I didn't ride from June but I saw something interesting it's a sand dune there Do you think the same as I think? This was amazing, definitely worth it to drive 3 hours here, now I have to drive 3 hours back home. And yeah, you saw me jumping from the dune, I don't like to jump on the beach. From the dune I had to try to see how it is, I can tell you it's not easy, it can be tricky. So please do not try this at home. I had some tricky landings, ok I moved the kite quick enough to land at a bit softer, but I can see that could be proper aggressive landing there. Later I saw some guys uh, crashing there on the dunes, trying the same thing as me. I hope I didn't motivate them to do that. No, probably I did. I will not do it anymore. Leave it, I tried, uh, that's it. It's uh, cool but uh, not worth it uh, injuring for such a stupidity. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you like this video, please press a like and please comment below. And see you next time. Cheers! <laughs>